Did you just receive your post-graduation work permit and you want to apply for temporary resident visa, also known as TRV, but you are not sure about the process, fees or documents? Then this video is for you because in today's video, I'm going to share my laptop screen and explain you everything step by step that you need to know in order to do your temporary resident visa. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with this video. So in order to start this process, first you need to log in into your GCK account. So I just searched that on my browser and I have opened this first link by IRCC and then I will go to this GCK username and password. I'll just log in into my GCK account now. So now they're asking for one time passcode, which has been sent on my email. Address. Then it will ask you for your security question. Once you have been successfully logging into a GCK account, you will scroll down below and get to this option of apply to come to Canada. Here, you don't have any personal reference code. So you will select this option of visitor visa. Here you will fill in all the information that is required on the page. Let's hit on next. Are you lawful permanent resident of US? Just select no. What is your current immigration status? Here you will select worker because you have post graduation work permit. Does any of the following apply to you? Majority of them will be no, but you can read all the description and ap apply the option accordingly. Once you fill out the answers to all the questions, it will lead you to this option of temporary resident visa. Here you have to just click on continue and continue again which of the following base describe your situation so i have an open work permit next have you had a medical exam performed by irscc just say no in the last 12 months so majority of the time it will be no so if you are falling under any of this category for your job then you can select yes otherwise it will be no as far as i know if you are working in a medical field you have to give at least one medical exam once a year. Work in the following job, no. Do you want to submit an application for family member? Say no. Are you giving someone access to your application? No. In the last 10 years, have you given your fingerprints and biometrics? Yes. So at the time when you applied for the Canadian student visa first time, you must have done your biometrics. So it will be yes. There are fees associated with the application. Will you be paying your fees? Yes. Are you able to make a digital copy of documents? Yes. You can do it with scanner. I generally prefer OneDrive on my phone. Will you be paying your application fees online? Yes. It will be through Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Generally, majority of the people do it with Visa. And then in the end, uh, it will ask you to confirm all, all the answers which you have filled up. So just go through each of the answers and make sure you have entered the correct information. And at the end, you'll just hit on this continue button. Here is uh, giving you all steps that you need to do now. There are two important things which I just want to share you here on this page. You will give 60 days of time to submit your application once you have created it. And the other thing is, your maximum file size should be 4 MB. So whatever file you are uploading, if it will be more than 4 MB, then you have to compress that PDF. And if you scroll at the bottom, just hit continue. And now it will give you this document checklist page here. The first main document that you have to fill up is this IMM 5257. We'll talk about it later and I will explain you all the details. Let's just go through with this three options, which are very easy to fill up here. You have to upload your Canadian work permit, which you have just got here. You have to upload your passport and your digital photo. So at the time when you applied for Canadian student visa, you must have a digital photo. You can submit that photo as well. And for optional documents, if you are applying from outside Canada, then you can fill out this form. And if you have any additional information that you think can be useful in order to process your file, then you can submit it here. The fees for this TRV application is $100 as of July 2024. Now let's go back to this main application form IMM 5257. 
So in order to open this, you just click on that form link for one time and then you can just right click and just say save link as and just try to save it on my desktop in order to fill in this form you should have adobe acrobat on your pc so you just can download adobe acrobat on your pc you don't have to pay for any premium service or anything i will just right click on it and do open with adobe acrobat the first thing that i generally do is i just click on this validate info so that way i will know that what are the all mandatory fields which are required so let's start with the first UCI number. It will be on your work permit on the right side top corner. So you can put in that. I want service in. So you can just select English or French accordingly. Visa required. You need visitor visa. Full name and given name based on your passport. Have you ever used any other name? Just say no. Here you will select your gender. You will put your date of birth. Place of birth, city and country. The same as you have on your passport citizenship just select the country here current country or territory of resident you will just select canada status you will select worker here from and to you can select the same dates what you have on your official work permit document during the last five years have you lived in any country or territory other than your country of citizenship or your current country or territory of resident indicated above no country or territory where applying same as current country so you you are applying from canada so you just select yes your current marital status let's just say single here and scroll bottom personal details have you previously been married no language so here you will just select your mother tongue whatever it is are you able to communicate in english or french let's say english have you taken a test from a designated testing agency to access your proficiency in english or french Yes, because I have taken ILTS when I was applying for my student visa first time. Here we will enter your passport number, country, issue date, expiry. For this trip, will you be using your passport issued by the Ministry of No? For this trip, will you use a national Israel passport? No. Do you have a national identity document? You can select no if you like, and you if you have any driving license or Aadhaar card or anything, you can select yes and enter that detail as well. USPR card? Nope. Here they are asking for your current mailing address. Make sure you are putting your details as much as accurate for this address. So apartment number, street number, street name, city, country and whatever the postal code is and province. You can just select yes on this option because your residential address will be the same as current mailing address majority of the time. Here you will just enter your telephone number three digit three digit and four digit here if you have any other alternate phone number you can enter here you can enter your email address here details of visit to canada purpose of my visit you can select returning worker you will need this visa to enter back into the canada whenever you are on a vacation into any different country and you are coming back so you just select that option here indicate how long you plan to stay so you can select the dates the same as you have on your work permit funds available for my stay you can mention any amount, whatever your bank balance is. Name, address and relationship of any person, institute I will visit. So here you will have two options. One you can put on if you are working anywhere part time or full time. You can enter that information here. So suppose like if you are working at Tim Hortons, then you can put Tim Hortons and relationship to me. You can just enter employer and whatever the address is for that store is. Or if you are unemployed, then you can enter your friend's name. You can just mention friend and you can put his or her address as well. Next is education. Have you had any post-secondary education? Just select yes. Here you can enter your highest level of post-secondary education. It will be pretty simple. Year, month, year, month. Field of study, school, country and city. And then it's asking for your employment information. So the oldest one will be at the bottom and the latest one will be at the top. So wherever you are working as of this moment, when you are filling this form, you can enter that detail here. You can have to fill your occupation, your employer's name, country, city. If you want, you can also enter all the part time jobs which you have done. And then background information within the past two years. Have your family member ever? Nope. Do you have any physical mental disorder? No. 
Have you ever remained beyond the validity of your status? No. Have you ever been refused a visa? If your visa has been refused in the past, then you can select yes. Otherwise, you can select no. Have you previously applied to enter or remain in Canada? So yes, because you have applied for study permit, work permit. And if you have selected yes for any of the questions, then you have to provide details. So you can just mention your UCI number or explain the story that you have applied for the student visa first time, but you got refusal or whatever the story it is. Have you ever committed or been arrested? No. Did you serve in any military? No. Have you ever been a member associated with any political party? No. Have you ever witnessed uh, ill treatment of prisoner? No. Here you just have to write down your signature and the date when you are filling out this form. And you can always click on validate at the bottom just to make sure that you haven't missed any column which was mandatory. Then you can go back to this document checklist portal and just upload that form here along with your passport, work permit and digital photo. Once you will upload all this document, it will ask you to pay that $100 fees which is required. And after paying that fees, your application will be successfully submitted. If you have any doubt about what you need to do once your TRV will be approved, how you get stamp on your passport, then check out my this video here. That's everything for today's video and I will see you in the next vlog.